let's talk about an interesting area related to Lorentz force that cyclotron you are able to see the magnets in the top and you got your RF here and you are able to see the ion source which is generator so cyclotron is a device of generating a charged particle accelerate it and take it out so charged particle can be accelerated using a specialized device that's cyclotron what is cyclotron by definition cyclotron is a device used to accelerate charged particles to high energies and it is devised by the great physicist that's Lorentz. Here is the principle of cyclotron. Cyclotron works on the principle that a charged particle moving normal to a magnetic field experiences a magnetic Lorentz force due to which the particles will be it's rotating in a circular path and it's taken out. You are able to see the two D's here. Cyclotron consists of a hollow metal cylinder divided into two sections D1 and D2. So this is D1 and D2. And it's called D's, which is enclosed in an evacuated chamber. The D's are separated and a source of ion is passed in the center, in the gap between the D's. They are placed between the pole pieces of a strong electromagnet. The magnetic field acts perpendicular to the plane of the D's. And the D's are connected to a high frequency oscillator. When a positive ion of charge Q and mass M is emitted from the source, it is accelerated towards the D's having a negative potential at the instant of time. Due to the normal magnetic field, the ion experiences magnetic Lorentz force and it moves in a circular path. By the time the ion arrives at the gap between the D's, the polarity of the D's gets reversed. If it is positive, it will become negative. It will become positive, negative, positive and it will become negative. So, it will be having the ions. The polarities of the D's gets reversed. Hence, the particle is once again accelerated and moves into the other D with a greater velocity along the circle of greater radius. As the particle moves in a circular path of increasing radius, and it moves comes near the edge it is taken out with the help of a deflector plate the particle with the high energy is now allowed to hit the target T you are able to see the north pole and south pole two different poles in between the D-shaped cavity is located which is taking it up accelerating the particles when the particle is moving along the circle of radius r with a velocity v, the magnetic Lorentz force provides the necessary centripetal force and it is given by b q into v is equal to m v square by r. So, as indicated v divided by r is equal to b q divided by m. So, R by V, reversing it, you got M by BQ. The time taken to describe a semicircle is given by T is equal to pi into R divided by V, where R divided by V is equal to M by BQ. So, substituting it, T is equal to pi into M, B into Q. So, this is the previous equation we got. It is clear from the equation that the time t is independent of radius r, no r here, and velocity v, no v here. 
the period of rotation t is equal to 2 into t so t equal to 2 into 2 pi m is by divided by bq which is a constant for the moving in a uniform magnetic field the tri the ion traverses all the circles in exactly the same time the frequency of the rotation of the particle is given by nu is equal to 1 by t so which is equal to bq divided by 2 pi m if the high frequency oscillator is adjusted to produce oscillations of frequency which is given in the equation phi the resonance occurs so as indicated cyclotron is used to accelerate protons deutrons and alpha particles you are able to see the typical internal architecture of cyclotron if we talk about the limitations of cyclotron Maintaining a uniform magnetic field over a large area of the disk is really difficult. At high velocities, the relativistic variation of mass of the particle upsets the resonance condition. At high frequencies, the relativistic variation of the mass of the electron is appreciable and hence electrons cannot be accelerated by cyclotron. <coughs> 